Um, just an incredible environment. Uh, today, I, <laughs> I just knew I wouldn't get emotional during um, the presentations and I end up crying like a little baby, um, as if I hadn't seen the videos before. But I think I got emotional because how much uh, as, as young women, uh, the seniors mean to me personally. So um, just to see them walk out with their families, you know, sometimes I think people forget how hard student athletes work and the sacrifices they make on a continual basis. I mean, they're criticized uh, for everything. They, they, they make sacrifices. They don't get to do a lot of things that everybody um, ha has the luxury to do. And, 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 and it's not so people could feel bad. That's the assignment that they're on. But it is not an easy job. And so anytime you have seniors like this that came to do something special, uh, I definitely got emotional about it. As far as the game is concerned, I, th I just thought we ran out of gas uh, in the fourth quarter. I thought South Carolina uh, did a great job with, um, you know, just continuing to play at a level um, that will give them the victory, and that's why they're the number one team in the nation. So, uh, but there were a lot of good things that I saw. Um, everything that we wanted to get, I felt like we got, and uh, we're going to take full advantage of this double buy. I don't even know how to feel like, and I had a double buy, <laughs> and, and even in the in the A Sun, we didn't have double buys. So this is this is new, but uh, to come from not winning a conference game and to now uh, being one of the top four teams in the SEC, I'm proud. Questions in the room for Coach or Shakira? A couple days ago, I know you said you guys didn't have anything to lose in a game like this. Um, I mean, is there such thing as like momentum building losses? Just with what you saw today, and, uh, yeah. and heading into Nashville, it sounds like you're, you're pretty happy with overall what you saw. Well, yeah, well, honestly, when we lost by, I don't know, it was 40 um, early in the season, um, I thought that they were 30 points better at the time, uh, just because it's not a talent thing. It was, it was uh, us being used to the environment and being on that stage and being able to handle success. You know, I think, I think uh, Don is in year 14, so like that's a lot of success that they're players and, and they're used to, and so it was fresh. But I knew we grew since then. And so I, uh, I wanted us to come out and play uh, a style of basketball to not only l um, let them know that they can do it, but also to send a message out that uh, to voters, to anybody who, who would listen, that we are a team to be reckoned with. And we don't plan on just being a one and out team in any tournament. We want to play. And I think that these young ladies have earned that right. And um, so I'm just glad to, to be a part of it. Columbia kind of got away from you guys early. Mm -hmm. And it kind of seemed like it was, it was close a couple times. Right. And, and the team just kept yeah. battling back. Yeah. How important was it to see that until the very end? It didn't really get away. Yeah, I mean, it was great. We, we transition D was just awful this game. Uh, it was something that I didn't cover because I wanted to rest our legs. You know, I don't. Let's not forget, we played two, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then today. Um, so I had to make a sacrifice and, you know, just thinking about it, I'm kind of kicking myself because maybe I should have talked about our transition formations just as a refresher. So that got away from us. Uh, that's why we were able to hold them to lower points in the third and fourth. We made adjustments at halftime. I felt like if we didn't allow those transition points, maybe we could have gotten a little cushion. Maybe we could have gotten a little lead to just give our players the confidence to continue to fight. Um, so, yeah. Kira, from the players' perspective, all these things Yo was saying about how you guys grew from the game in Columbia to today, how did you guys do that? What was it, what did it take from the players to kind of make that happen? Um, it just took, uh, a lot of confidence from the team. Um, you could just feel it on the floor today. You know, going in last game, uh, the last time we played South Carolina, you know, it just wasn't us. Like, you know, we weren't playing together, we weren't playing confident. And I mean, this game, 
we just were playing. We were doing what we need to do, and that just started from taking uh, the examples in a game situation, the games we've been playing, and just continuing to build and continue to fix the mistakes so that when we were prepared to play the number one team, we were able to you know, do the things that we needed to do to an extent. How different do things feel for you guys heading into the SEC tournament this year compared to last year when everything was a little new? Um, I think it, we feel great. I mean, I'm proud of the team right now, you know, regardless of how the the result was. Like, I think this is perfect for us going into the tournament. And, I mean, last year around this time, we felt good too. Mm -hmm. Going into the tournament, we were playing, you know, Arkansas, we knew we wanted to get them back. So, you know, we always heat up at the end of the season. We figure stuff out, you know, figure things out. And right now, I mean, that's just exactly what we're doing, starting to figure it out, put the pieces together. Here, obviously, it was, it was senior day. There's the, the pregame ceremony. Just how, how, how do you keep your emotions in check and, and not let it kind of get to you? Yeah, well, was she was an emotional wreck the whole time. <laughs> no, the whole <laughs> week, actually. I mean, it started from yesterday in practice. They played Donetta's video, and I was in the locker room crying. Like, <laughs> I couldn't control it. But um, I just try to stay level-headed. Like, this whole year, you know, mentally, I've just been focusing on my approach and just, you know, trying to be consistent for the team and not get too high and not get too low. So, I mean, coming into this game, you know, aside from my mom giving me, you know, my uh, my godmom's mm -hmm. poster, other than that, I was focused mm -hmm. for a win. So, yeah, what happened with Monk there at the very end? Oh, the hydration. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she just had a cramp. She drank too many Mountain Dews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coach Joe. So it, it's well, it's a little not really about the game, but just how important is it for you to, you know, we're starting to see a lot more minority women head coaches in women's basketball and the ACC and starting to have success. So how important is that for you to not only see representation, but actually winning, like developing the winning culture? I mean, it's very important. You know, um, you can't be what you can't see. And so, um, you know, my players get to see me in a lot of different facets as a mom, as a wife, as a coach, as a CEO. Uh, and so that just opens opportunities for them they don't have to want to coach. It's being a CEO of a program. And um, they all want to be their own CEOs. Um, so <clears throat> you can't be what you can't see. It is uh, a weight that is very heavy. Uh, but uh, we have a sisterhood in the SEC. And, uh, you know, Don is, is really the leader of that. And, um, you know, it's been refreshing to be able to call on someone like her and uh, other people in the SEC that look like me. Any more questions in the room for Coach? Okay, we'll head to Zoom. Dorothy, go ahead. Hi, hey, girl. Girl. What's up, girl? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sierra. Hi. Uh, thank you for your time, Coach. Um, I want to ask you both this one question. What has allowed Ole Miss to play the way that you've played this year, what mindset have you had? What has it taken for you to be where you are, uh, cracking the top 25 and all of that? And then how would you then take that mindset into postseason play? Yeah. And it's a role with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a long question. What's it, <laughs> what's it, what's it take? Oh, what, what, what does it take? What, no, what made it? Wait. In short, say it again, because we got caught up. Yeah, we, I was trying to listen too hard. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You can hear me. No, go ahead. No, we can. Just a okay. little summary. Okay. What has allowed this old oh, team yeah. to play the way that it has this season? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we got a it. mindset, a model. Just take us into the mindset that you've had, both okay. as a coach and as a player. Okay. What it took. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, it just it took a lot of leadership. Um. You know, from me on a personal level, it took a lot of growth and maturity um, just to come out this year and, you know, make something work and learn from the mistakes of last year. And I think the new pieces that we were able to put in, they just added on top and were able to learn quickly, too. And I was able to share more knowledge so that, you know, we can get to that place that we were in during the last year's SEC tournament, you know, a little quicker. So that's really been what's been carrying us, just the leadership throughout the seniors and just the vets. Um, everything Kira said, and I just think, you know, when you have a player like Kira on your team, like, they put a lot of pressure on you. So, like, 
All summer she was grilling me like, who are we bringing in? Who are you going to sign? Who, you know, and, and, and she wasn't that. She didn't. But, but you don't have talent like this, and you're not playing in March Madness. Like, I would have just felt like a total failure. So uh, just wanting to make sure we got the pieces won, like she said. But also I just think our team, our whole program has embraced the four ends, and that's uh, believe in, buy in, lock in, and all in. And uh, we, we, we work through that. Sometimes we fall short. There's been a lot of healing. Uh, it's been a lot of looking at ourselves in the mirror and self-assess. It's been um, a lot of trying times, a lot of growth, not only for them, but for me as I go through this gauntlet. And so that's what you're seeing. You're, see, you're watching us grow right in front of your eyes, you know, and, and that's what it is. Good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Courtney, go ahead. Hey, Courtney, I just get so sad every time I see you because you're leaving me. Oh, I'm still here for a couple of Okay, okay, good. Um, I just wanted to ask because I know you mentioned a couple of days ago going into today's game, sort of using it as a measurable of where your team right. is at. Do you just feel that after today's performance, uh, your team sort of stacked up to that measurable? Yeah, well, uh, Kira was teasing me because I said, uh, we just lost to the, the number one team in the nation. We're the number four team in the nation. But that's what it felt like. Like, if they're number one and we're neck and neck, then we, we must be number four. <laughs> <laughs> I meant in the SEC, though. Uh, I, I, I like where we're at. Uh, you know, this South Carolina team has 15 top 25 wins. Um, and one of them were against us when we were top 25. And so... I just knew that wasn't who we were going to be when we played them the first time. Um, it really is not about the score for us. It was about can we execute against another premier elite defensive team. Like, we're an elite defensive team, but they are too. And we were able to get everything that we wanted. Now, did we make it all the time? No. But we got everything we wanted. And then uh, I wanted to see our team follow the game plan. You know, I had to give them Friday off. We needed a day off. We had a one-day prep against the number one team in the country. So uh, all of this was really – this whole week was really good for us because now instead of having to win five games in the SEC tournament, we have to win three um, if we want to be the last one standing, right? Um, so I thought it was good. I like where we're at. Our, our players feel good. A lot of growth moments throughout the game, tons. I know in the, the last game against South Carolina when you guys were on the road, you felt that the environment was sort of a big factor in that. It, are there any concerns for you now that you guys are going to be playing in more of, I would say, a neutral site yeah. arena or as you head to the NCAA tournament of, you know, not having that sort of same home comfort that you guys have had? Well, we were cooking with fish grease on the road until we ran into South Carolina. So we're pretty comfortable on the road. You know, we, we, we jumped on Auburn on the road. You know, we had won four games in a row on the road. So we, we really, for us, it doesn't matter anymore. Now it's about, uh, because we're so close as a group, um, we're, we're each other's fans. But uh, the environments that we've been in uh, in the SEC has helped us. Um, I, don't, I don't expect it to bother us much. We're just, re we really can't wait to get out SEC play. <laughs> This is a gauntlet, y'all, <laughs> you know, and everybody knows everybody. Uh, we're ready to play another conference and see where we stack up. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. David, go ahead. Hey, yo, um, Shakira wasn't here when you took this job four years ago, and neither were a lot of these other girls. Uh, could you reflect back on hmm. just uh, – your first four years here, where you were when you got here, and where this program is today. Well, if I had Kira for four years, we wouldn't have had the story, that the sop side story we had. We would have been winning uh, from she was a pup. Uh, but, but um, you know, it is, you know, I am completely humbled by uh, this whole journey. You know, there have been trying times. 
Uh, there have been moments where I didn't know if I was the right person for the job. And then anytime I would get close to feeling like I can't make it, then I would get a commitment from Maddie and then Kira and, and just to reassure me that, you know, I was the right person for the job. And so as I reflect on um, this process, one, it is extremely difficult. Uh, but at the same time, usually when it's difficult, it's gratifying on the other end. So I'm just really glad, and I, and I really need to make this point. This is only the beginning for this program. You know, the, Kira came here to help. My, my deal w with her was, come help me get this thing off the ground. In return, we're going to get your stock up. I'm going to utilize you in the way that you envision to be utilized. And so it's a win for both of us. And that's what partnership looks like. And so this is the beginning for Ole Miss women's basketball. Uh, we want to have a great program. So we're going to keep chucking along. And any recruit out here listening that wants to come, uh, we will be open and ready after the season. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Any other questions for Coach in the room or on Zoom? Um, Coach, where can I get that shirt from? <laughs> 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 we'll talk after the interview. <laughs> Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.